Here I have Samsung Galaxy Core Prime and let me show you how to update firmware on this device, so how to flash the device to the newest firmware from Samsung. So let me use the tutorial from hardreset.info. Here you have to download a couple of things, the some firmware, Odin and a couple of components for your Windows. Afterwards, if you have everything downloaded and installed, it, you have to open the folder with that applications. Here I have my folder. And at first, let me open the SAM Firm application. Let's choose SAM Firm, hardreset.info. And this is the firmware, the application to download the latest firmware on the Samsung. You have to input here the model and the region, the CSC code of region. Let me show you how to find this. At the very beginning, let's input the model. So the best way to do it, to be sure what exact model are you are you are using, you have to open the email.info, you have to check your email number on your device, so let me use the following secret code, star hash 06 hash, and let's input the following email into this bracket. Here I have my email. Let's choose that I'm not a robot, let me go for the captcha pictures with street signs, tab next. Tab check. And this is the full specification with that phone and the exact model. So let's copy that model and paste it into that bracket. And now let's find the CSC code, the region code. So let's go to our tutorial. Let's choose country carrier Samsung right here. And this is the list of available countries carriers codes. So let's choose your country and carrier. In my case it's Poland and as you can see I can choose the firmware without a carrier. So let me do it with the following code XEO. And let's paste it into the region tab. Make sure that you have to choose the auto binary nature, check CRC32 and decrypt automatically and choose check update right here. Now the application is looking for available updates. As you can see, my model is wrong, so let me just correct my model without that sign right here. This is the model of my device. Let's choose check update. And now we can download the following firmware. So let's tap download. Let's choose the place when you, can, when you would like to save your files. So let me choose the documents, choose save. Wait until the download will be completed. As you can see, the download is completed, but now we have to wait until the app checks here C32 and also decrypt the firmware, so it should take a few seconds, maybe even a few minutes. So you have to be patient and wait until the whole process will be completed.
decryption finished, so you can go and find the folder with your firmware, so in my case it's documents. Here you should extract these files, so here I have my files. Let me extract it right here, tab OK. Wait a few seconds. Excellent. And now all you have to do is open the Odin application. So let me find the folder with Odin. Here I have my Odin app, let's open Odin. Now you have to enter the download mode on your device, so let's press power key, power off, power off again. Let me turn off my device and wait a couple of seconds. When your phone is completely switched off, let's use the following combination of keys, power key, home button and volume down. Let's hold down together these three keys for a couple of seconds, keep holding them and release all keys as soon as warning pops up, press volume up to continue and the download mode just pops up. So now you can insert the micro SD to connect your device with your PC. This is the cable connected to my computer. As you can see on Odin application the phone is added. So now let's check the options, make sure that you have auto reboot and factory reset time selected and then let's load the files. Let's start with BL file, let's choose the folder with your firmware, choose BL file, now select AP file, it is the largest one so it should take a few seconds. Now it's time for CP file, let me do it. And the last one, CSC. Now let's choose start and let's flash the newest firmware on our Samsung Galaxy Core. Do not interrupt while the process is running. Excellent, as you can see the flash operation is done, so now you can simply disconnect your device from the Odin, wait until the welcome panel of Samsung Galaxy Core Prime pops up, it may take a few seconds, let's wait until the Samsung will be ready to be used.
Excellent, as you can see the Samsung Galaxy Welcome Panel pops up, so it means that the hard reset operation is done and the flash operation is also done, so you just upload the newest firmware on your device. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave a thumbs up under the video.